Hello everybody. Welcome to our Lent course for 2021 at St. Paul's and St. Mary's Little Pandin. I was delighted when Martin uh, asked me to speak at one of your sessions. I will be talking about Abraham today uh, because for me, Abraham is very significant in my faith journey. For me, Abraham is my hero of faith. I will be using Genesis chapter 22 and Hebrews 11 as a foundation for my teaching today. From Genesis chapter 12 through to chapter 25 verses 11, the scene of the tone changed. We leave the midst of prehistory to arrive at a particular place and time, focusing on one man called Abraham. Abraham is a groundbreaker. His life is a classic example of faith. He is the man through whom all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Incredibly important man. Abraham is so important that he shows up at the end of Genesis chapter 11 and he continues as a primary figure until his death in Genesis chapter 25. Why Genesis 22 and Hebrews 11? Well, of course, you know Hebrews 11 talks about the heroes of faith. And in Genesis 22, Abraham was tested to the highest degree of his faith in God. In Genesis 22, God tested Abraham not to trip him or to make him fall, but to deepen his capacity to obey God and to develop his character. Abraham is my hero because of his faith, his obedience, and his positive disposition. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called by God to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he set out not knowing where he was going. Let me explain the capacity of Abraham's faith. By the time we get to Genesis 11, God has had enough with humanity. He had mercy on one family. He chose to reveal himself to the family of Abraham. The family of Abraham were pagan worshippers. They worshipped the sun God. Abraham at this time was inquiring. He was seeking God. And God singled him out. This was the beginning stages of Abraham's faith in God. For Abraham to believe in God to the level of which he had to leave his family, leave his kindred, and go to the land which is unknown to him. Abraham had to hear the voice of God. Because, of course, at this time, there were no scriptures, there were no Bible. There were no scrolls for Abraham to study. He had to walk with God by hearing the voice of God. God commanded him audibly and said, Look, I want you to leave everything you're familiar with. Leave those behind and go to the land that I will show you. Abraham believed in God because he heard the audible voice of God. And so he got together everything he had and set off to go on the land which is unknown on this new adventure with God. And so Abraham begins this adventure with God from chapters 12 of Genesis. And we are now in chapter 22. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test to offer up Isaac, he who have received the promise was ready to offer Isaac, his only son. Abraham's faith in God was so strong. By the time God asked him to offer Isaac, he was ready to offer Isaac. Because his faith in God was so strong, he believed that even when Isaac died, God was able to raise him up. And he did receive him back. 
Abraham is my hero because of his faith in God, his obedience and his positive disposition. So Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offering and set out and went to the place in a distance that God has shown him. That morning, Abraham began one of the greatest acts of obedience in recorded history. Over the course of time with God, Abraham has learned many tough lessons about the importance of obeying God. On this occasion, his obedience was prompt and complete. There is no reference in scripture where we are told that Abraham informed Sarah that he was going to sacrifice their only son. Obeying God is often strange and difficult. It can sometimes seem that we are out of our mind in asking Abraham to sacrifice his son. God did not want Isaac to die, but he wanted Abraham to sacrifice Isaac in his heart so that it would be clear that Abraham loved God more than his beloved son. Obeying God is not easy. And for most people, obeying God goes against their natural inclinations. The greatest test in Abraham's life only came after he received the promised son. He was to give Isaac back to God, a test which was designed to deepen his faith in God. It is one thing to claim that we have faith in God, we trust God, we believe in God when we are waiting or expecting something from God. It is quite another to trust and obey God's words after we have received the promise. Abraham is my hero because of his faith, his obedience, and his positive disposition. Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship, then we will come back to you. <laughs> Friends, this is a guy who has been told to go and sacrifice his own son by killing him on an altar. And here he is telling his servant, stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship God and we will come back to you. <laughs> Abraham believed that what God has promised, he was able to perform. He believed that even on the altar of sacrifice, God was able to raise Isaac from the dead. And so he said to his servant, you stay here and wait for us. We are only going up there to worship the Lord and we will come back to you. Abraham was so positive that him and his son were going up only to worship God and they will come back. Because by this time in his life, he knew that God will not let him down. Friends, let me share with you two key things as a result of trusting in God, having faith in God, and obeying his words. The first is solutions and rewards. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a ticket by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. The second is abundance increase of blessing. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, Blessing, I will bless you, and multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heavens and the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gates of their enemies. Friends, when we trust and obey God, we get solutions and rewards in every situation, not only that we get an abundance increase of blessing, an overflow 
of God's blessings in our lives. Abraham is my hero because of his faith, his obedience, and his positive disposition. We have all had times in our lives, situations in our lives, when God didn't make sense. As we go into discussion, I want you to recall a time in your life when God didn't make sense during a difficult situation. It may be a time God did not answer your prayers as requested. It may be a failed marriage. It may be an unemployment. It may be difficult problems in your workplace. It may be a medical condition or ill health. I want you to recall a time when you were tested by God or when it seems that God was testing your faith and ask yourself these questions. What did you do? When did you decide to do something about it? At which point in your life was it? What was the outcome in the end? May God bless us all as we think about and discuss these issues in our faith journey. Amen. Thank you for having me. Ha, 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 ha.